Hello and welcome. In this video I will go through some main points about visas that I hope will be of help to you. First of all, please remember that you cannot study in the UK on a tourist visa. So you must select a visa type which permits you study in the UK. This video will introduce to you the three main types of student visa. All this information is also available on the visa guidance pages on the International House website. For full visa information, you should always consult the UKVA website. You are of course also welcome to contact me personally or one of my colleagues in the Student Services Department at International House. So when you consider which visa type you should apply for, consider for how long you are going to study in the UK, what type of course you are going to study in the UK, and for how many hours per week you are going to study. And finally, what is your level of English? The three types of visa are the student visitor visa, the extended student visitor visa, and the general student visa or tier 4 visa. We will now look at the differences between them as it's very important that you choose the visa type that serves you best. The student visitor visa will grant you six months in the UK irrespective of the length of the course you book. So if you book a course of 4, 8 or 12 weeks for example, your visa will be given for a period of 6 months. What this of course means is that you can book an 8 week course with this visa type and then extend your course later in the UK. The student visitor visa does not give you the right to work in the UK and it can't be extended in the UK. There is no English level requirement and you are free to study any number of hours per week. This is the visa type I will recommend for you if your aim is to come to the UK and study for less than six months and then return to your country. The extended student visa visa allows you to study in the UK for a period of six to 11 months. Your initial course reservation must be of 27 weeks or more to be able to study with this visa type. As with the student visa visa, the extended student visa visa does not give you the right to work in the UK and it can't be extended in the UK and there is no level requirement. So if your aim is to come to the UK and study between 6 and 11 months, then this is the most suitable type. The third visa type, which you may have heard of, is the general student visa or tier 4 visa. A tier 4 visa can be extended in the UK, so if your plan is to study further in the UK, perhaps go on to university, then you may want to consider applying for this visa type. It comes with certain restrictions though. You must study for a minimum of 15 hours, 20 lessons per week. You must provide evidence that your current level of English is B1 of the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. Please also note that if your course is under 6 months long, then your visa period will be for the course length plus one week only. And there must not be more than 28 days between the end of your visa and the start of your new course. Important to remember if you want to extend your visa in the UK for university studies, for example. The estimated time for applying for a visa is two to three weeks. So make sure that you make your course reservation well in advance giving you enough time to apply for your visa. So for your own peace of mind, don't leave it late. Inform yourself so that you apply for the visa type that serves you best. The ultimate source of information is the UKBA website. 
and you are of course also welcome to contact International House staff for any clarification or assistance. See you in London!